So I went to Chicago with Justin and Jordan. We decided to do a time-lapse trip to shoot all around the city. And here is what happened. I was supposed to meet Justin at the airport a few minutes after landing, but I was early, he was late, so I wait. I check the police guy on his awesome Segway and I wait again. Justin shows up, we take an Uber and head to the first hotel where we meet with Jordan. We made it. We made it. Yes, we did. All the, almost the same time, 10 minutes apart. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we know, I was supposed to get here like <laughs> four hours ago. <laughs> the best views of the city are usually from hotel rooms, and this is why we got that one for a couple of nights. A perfect view of the city skyline from west to east. So, Jordan is like setting up his kiss. Look, nope. No. Is uh, Kim Luck. How dare you? <laughs> Justin already almost didn't make it. Yeah. Because he was uh, stuck by a hurricane. That's right. Don't mess with Florence. So they're setting up some dead time lapse. I'm not. There's actually no clouds, so I'm tired of <laughs> no clouds type of weather. That's what they So I'm just gonna wait for the day tonight and probably some night shots. We start setting up our day tonight and actually decided to upgrade our room. The new room was five floors below but offers an amazing panoramic view of the city. So we got an upgrade in the room, different view because we had only two beds over there. And now we have three. And there's this guy here. Like look at it did by How does it look? Oh dude. That's, no. that's what it did to me. So I had to stop it and I Shit. I went to that. <laughs> I hope I can blend it. I don't later. know. Well, you're, you're you're pretty good, so maybe. But I can. It depends. That's pretty hot. Is that your first time using the time lapse plus? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it, it was trip. good. It was good for the beginning, and, and then, then all of a sudden it do? just blows it up. We have a big living room. Where's the room? And we have a couch, a huge TV, a kitchen. Uh, looks pretty dope, and the view is very similar. We shoot, we shoot, and we shoot again until late that night. So yeah, I'm a little tired. I might go shoot like a one more time lapse with wide angle over there with the building. Kind of looks cool. So I'm gonna set it up, shoot it, and probably charge all the batteries. We have to wake up early to shoot the sunrise, and then, um, yeah, very busy day tomorrow. Let's go. Next morning, we woke up super early to shoot the sunrise from the same spot. The light coming from the east is amazing and creates such beautiful time lapses. After a second day shooting at the Millennium Park and Buckingham Fountain, we ended up at 360 Chicago that accepts tripods every Monday. Perfect to go shoot some time-lapse videos. It's a great view, it's a great sunset, very clear. I wish there was more cloud though. Yeah, that's but, cool. uh, We stayed around six hours at the 94th floor of the John Hancock building before going back to the hotel. And obviously, shoot the view again. We woke up before the sun again and shoot a night to the time lapse. One more time, the sunrise was incredible with some fog covering the top of buildings. So we're waiting for boats. We are ready to shoot, but there's actually no boats. So just waiting here. After taking photos for tourists and almost dropped their phone, it's time to go to our second hotel, the London House in downtown. We are now at the London House, Chicago in downtown. We got another room with another view 20 floors above the street where we can see the Chicago River and the traffic down below. At sunset, we decided to go outside the city and shoot the skyline facing west. We hope to have a nice sunset, but apparently it's not gonna be, it's not gonna work, but hey, you never know. You know, there's a few clouds. It didn't look very promising at the beginning and it was way too overcast, but a low layer of clouds decided to show up right after the sunset and it looked amazing. Then we went back to Jordan's Airbnb. And this is Airbnb. What? He's Airbnb. Yeah. And there's actually a rooftop, so this view is amazing. He got lucky because the building he stayed at has a rooftop and a breathtaking view of the city. 
For the last day, we shot the sunset from Jordan's rooftop before going back to the Buckingham Fountain and the Cloud Gate at night. Getting close to the end of the trip, it's the last full day and right now we are shooting from the bean again, the Cloud Gate at night because it looks pretty sweet. This trip was exhausting, but awesome. If you can, try to shoot time-lapse with people who enjoy this, because it's hard work. It takes time, and it's not easy every day. But the final products are worth it and rewarding. I'm glad I'm able to travel and work at the same time. It's almost like I have to travel to work, and this is why I'm not ready to stop shooting time-lapse in the near future. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.